Hello and welcome back to my Kunming National Government Let's Play. Uh, we're currently working on finishing off the Young Gun People's Government. Uh, once again, I'm very sorry about the very short episode. Uh, last time I had some stuff with life that I had to, had to deal with, uh, but we're back. And first we get to pick a national focus. Uh, we need to pick something that's relatively uh, um, meaningful, because we're kind of running out of time. Uh, over here, there's nothing that we can immediately get that helps a whole lot. Land Doctrine is okay. Infantry and upgrades and stuff are okay. I really want some... Democratic Fortress would be useful, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but Dion Identity is just okay. I don't know what these stuff do, though. Um... Let's go Dion Identity. Uh, for centuries, Yunnan has been a melting pot of cultures divided. The province has preyed upon Beijing and foreigners alike. And as such, we should strive to form a new identity, which integrates the multicultural aspects of our province to harmonious Asiatic of ethnicities and desire for self-preservation and the prosperity of the province. Uh, sounds good. We can continue moving towards army reform and eight more uh, army experience points. Um, let's take a quick look here. Ooh, wait a minute. These guys aren't part of a faction. I'm a lot less worried. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of wor I was kind of worried that Japan might come in against us. But I'm not so sure that's a huge fear right now. But overwhelmingly, that's a major concern. Let's take a quick look here. I wanna I wanna check. Probably the next move would be to take out Shenzhen. Is Shenzhen northeast China? No, western China. Western China area. We can literally do that as soon as this war ends. Okay. I feel safe with that. Even though Shangzi is pretty strong, right? 22 to 66. 24, 14. Yeah, so maybe that's the best idea. We'll see. I'm very worried about how little land we're going to be getting here. Oh, come on, are you? Everything kind of feels like it's just holding there. We can't really see what's going on there. I hope they're winning. I feel like the quicker this war ends, the better. Come on. I think this will cause these guys to get instantly deleted, right? People who are retreating, at least. No, they just build back up there. Okay. Global defense is done. Disperse support. I almost spent my army experience on boosting that, which would have been really dumb. Really glad I didn't. Okay. Ooh, we got one more point of war score from that. Did we get a bunch of guns somehow? I thought for sure that was in the thousands of second ago. And we're apparently losing them. Okay. I don't know. I hope we get ten percent is the minimum goal here. Go 
Don Cuban has surrendered. Okay. Okay, looks like Germany's done. Or at least they're moving in that general direction of Germany being done. Okay, I don't know if... There were probably going to be a guy move in here right before we finish, but uh... No? No? Okay. East that's holding. You help out there. Someone was assassinated. It looks like a minor thing, I'm not gonna lie. Capital that is. Um, war economy, sure. We are building guns decently fast. Not guns, military factories to build guns. That's what I meant to say. Acquire artillery pieces, we'll take it. Yeah, identity done. It's time for the real thing. We want a democratic fortress. Despite its distance from the capital and the world of isolation, Yunnan has become more of a warlord fiefdom. With working universities, a growing industrial sector, and just the rising of the state and a local electorate assembly, Yunnan is one of the few provinces trying to come truly be considered democratic. Ooh. Let's not waste this opportunity. War scores at 10%. Let's go. Done. You know what? If they want to send me just free guns, I'll take it. It kind of looks like we've looped our way all the way around their capital, but just haven't actually taken the capital itself, which sucks. Why'd they cancel their land lease? Sish one, sure. I mean, they are a puppet, and that kind of hurts our, uh, our independence ticker. It helps them work towards getting independence, but that's fine. Yeah, let's get you over there. Retaliation to... Okay. Firefighter planes. Okay, I don't know the cool-off for this, but... Take free stuff when I can get it. Lord abdicates the throne. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've got complete green air. So that shouldn't be causing any issues. Also means we also can't be getting any more additional help than we normally would be here. Okay, we can at least take this. This would be a massive W. Everything up here gets cut off. Oh wait, no. They've got, uh, rallies have got people there. Come on, let's go. You try to hold off people from being able to reinforce. Come on. You're kidding me. Come on, that has to be them capitulating. Make demands. They... You guys see this? You guys see this trash? Okay, you know what? You know what? Like, I know sometimes this game cheats you. Really? Like... You serious? No, we're not going to build for them. Um, Uh, South China area would be Fengtian anyways. Secure Western China. With the East secured, now is the time to begin the long march westward to the long... Commenting uphold Sun Yat-sen's ideals. It was a duty that would protect Chinese citizens, wherever they may be. Those who recently fallen in chaos, livelihood of any Chinese is not threatened. It is our duty to march in and restore order. I mean, we'll, this will start a war, I think, so we don't need to worry about demobilizing our economy, but... This is going to be a long march, no pun intended. Okay, the pun was intended, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we are getting this. Which should be... Do we have to get one more, or is this... Or does this not feel till after this thing ends up taking? I'm not sure. Hate the Fang Tan. Oh my god. What are they sitting at? 14 to 72. Like, we're gonna have to rush this war after we're done with these guys. Get more resource excavation because as soon as we finish finding the thing, tin, I think I don't think it doesn't have to be a uh, um, a Qing fighting the fan ting. I think anybody can join, and uh, they can pull Japan into the war. The Indo-Chinese Union is at war with Siam. Okay. I was hoping to get, like, this. Ling Nang. 
that's got quite a few civilian factories. And I was thinking 10% was enough, but no. Okay, yeah, this is the one against Shingzi. Okay. I'm, I'm really nervous because these guys can come up against us now with that focus, but we need the factories now. Secure Western China. Let's expand opium production. The insert opium was forced upon us by the British in the 19th century. In order to generate and awaken our great society, while we may wish to cast off the horrible plague, it can be exploited by us to help, help fund our agricultural developments and have plants some additional benefits. However, the young may have other plans. Come on. Ooh, there's actually quite a few stuff here. Um, Tech Xing Z. Would Tibet be a difficult war? No. That would pull in Mongolia, right? Because Mongolia is guaranteeing the independence of Tibet, yeah. Better manufacturing, sure. Proof computing machines, done. Sure to Got to keep an eye on this. Because if they do it by negotiation, maybe there's some stuff we can do. I hope. But yeah, more artillery pieces can be acquired. Cool. So we go with that. Probably next would have to be East Turkestan, right? Because East Turkestan has no contacts and we can get some free. Then we need to build up and do Mongolia versus Tibet really quickly. And then let's just rush the. I guess. Um. Oh, wait. Got you. Got to call. The other one can go there. Fire artillery pieces. This seems more important than more planes right now. Okay, um... If you can take that before anyone can get it. No. That sucks. Okay, there we go. Widen right the front line. Okay, despite the reliance on opium trade, Yon has had for the past 20 years, Minister. Now, Yonatan has also supported the Kuomintang Assembly, has proclaimed that the open has been eliminated from Yunnan, not merely out of moral ground, but on an economic one. His main argument is that Yunnan has been the second largest producing of opium in the region, being greatly dwarfed by Sichuan, which is the greatest opium producer in all of China. Sichuan has never been able to keep up with their production, 
and they took the majority of the market span. This has harmed our profits in the opium business and such we'd run our best interests to instead promote substance farming and start government programs in order to help the unionized addicts move past their addiction. However, the rest rests on Zood Pid. Ban it, not just yet. Ban it. Seek new markets. Yeah, sure. Or our own supply of goods, sir, we should seek to sell our excess products abroad. While it depends on exports in the past, the manager of self sufficiency or confident that resuming the practice of on excess goods is bound to only bring benefits to our economy. Dang it, I mean, if we could have just hit them perfectly there, we could have easily gotten a nice encirclement. is focusing on the Germany which is I guess a low key our ally here it's not something we are proud to say yeah let's give it a second everybody chill out Require more uh, planes. Yeah, okay. Okay, we need to let you guys uh, build up. Let's say we could build some more infrastructure up here, but we have no infrastructure. Everything's bad. Okay. Yeah, we're losing fighters, that's fine, not a lot we can do. Neat excavation, oh my god, okay. There is always the, uh... No, it's because we have... I was going to say there's always the fallback plan, but... We have our puppet, which might not see things the same way. Besides, they're pushing us right now, so, uh... Let's see how this goes first. Why is this not pulling up the We Are At War thing? Okay. I know we're at war, I want to see your casualties. There we go. There we go. Seek new markets. That's a hold for now. Um, and mining operations we need. The mining operation near gives you and other major mining cities is you know on our major aspect of the Unionese economy. If I don't want to even explain the mine furnaces and smelters in our provinces, as well as subsidizing mining cooperations will help us increase our output and quality. Come on. There we go. That's fine. I guess Japan's just going to go and attack everyone. That's fine. Right now we are holding fine. Even more importing from uh, the Russians. Ooh, wait, the Finkins still around, aren't they? What? Oh, 
Oh, is that the thing? Tan the Transamards. Republic might attack them, and they're part of the Co Prosperity Sphere, which could be useful in a coming war. No, no, that's... It's not a free win, don't go for it. Have one of you guys stay back. Japan has cancelled their non-aggression with us. That's always a great sign. up little parts of them. No, we can't move that guy. Okay, we're not getting any free gun options here. Sucks. No, 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 you guys go ahead, remove your divisions around, get them before you need them. Chief of Air Force, Air Superiority guy, sure, because we're only really making fighters. Um, production assembly line. And mining operations, that's done. Let's look over here. Emergency financial energy distribution. Let's go with emerging financial measures. Our provincial economy moves forward and we should try to keep up with it financially. Overtures or investments are open, new companies have opened, new factories have settled, and we should encourage all financial measures to continue improving on and make it a model province. Production speed and production efficiency growth. Very important, especially considering the current situation we are with our economy after we got completely screwed out of those sieves, I refuse to believe that those aren't rightfully ours. I'm sorry. Still with the coal mining. We lose some sieves now, but long term it'll make us where we don't have to trade as many. Come on, you can make it. Whoa, how'd they... How'd those guys all get pushed back? Okay. Um... That's not great. They're going by subjugation. That's not great either. And we're really short on guns. Yay. Everything's going great. We still can't pull up the we're at war thing. It's, I think there's a bug with it. I'm not sure. I think it's producing that uh, soldier was a shooting factor. I mean, we technically have the economy support 86 max divisions. We just can't. Bro, it hurts. We need more political power. Let's get those artillery pieces. Let's take a quick second to let everyone move around. Logistics wizard, let's take that. Because we're in the middle of uh, central China, and that's not exactly a uh, supply, an amazing supply zone, so. Uh, 
unfortunately, we have ran out of time for this episode. Uh, we actually haven't taken much land over here. Uh, but next episode, we're going to try to finish off the shang Z, uh, see what can be done about the Feng Tian. Uh, but kind of nervous about how the rest of the series is going to go. We're not in a super great position. Uh, but uh, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.